What's up, sports bettors? This video is about how sports betting odds relate to probabilities. So it's a video about sports betting math, and I figure we just dive in. We'll start with a very simple example. So for game one of the finals, um, DraftKings Sportsbook, they're giving you the over 104.5 points for the Celtics at minus 115. The under is also at minus 115, right? So betting 115 bucks to win $100 in profit. Now, since the odds are exactly the same for both the over and the under, and these are equal and opposite outcomes, this essentially means the model on DraftKings Sportsbook is implying that over 104.5 is 50% to occur, and under 104.5 is 50% to occur, right? Since the Sportsbook is giving you the exact same price on both the over and the under, the Sportsbook thinks that the over and the under are equally likely to occur. And because these are equal and opposite outcomes, this, you know, the Celtics can only score over 104.5, 105 plus points, or under 104.5 points, 104 or less, you know that DraftKings is implying both of these bets are 50% to occur, right? That is what DraftKings is implying. So this is essentially exactly what a no vague fair odds calculator shows you. So if we put in DraftKings market, minus 115, minus 115, you remove the juice. The odds are exactly the same. It's, you know, what this calculator tells us is DraftKings is pricing over 104.5 points at 50% to occur and under 104.5 points at 50% to occur, right? If DraftKings thought that the over was more likely, and let's say they had minus 120, minus 110, that would be reflected in the odds and therefore the win probabilities. So what a no vague fair odds calculator essentially does is it takes the sportsbooks market, removes the juice to back out the fair win probabilities or the true win probability for your bet. So if we go here, we can look at a bet from the odds jam positive expected value, the positive EV betting tool of mathematically profitable bets. And we can look at the line for Nathan McKinnon over one and a half points, right? We can look at the market. So you always have to look at both sides of a sportsbooks market. What are they pricing on the over? What are they pricing on the under? Obviously, Nathan McKinnon can only have two plus points or one or less points, right? Only one of these bets can win. The over or the under, both bets can't win. So these are equal and opposite outcomes. So we can see that Pinnacle Sportsbook, which is the sharpest, most efficient betting market in the world, under this odds jam column, they list the over one and a half points at plus 108 and the under at um, minus 146. So they have the under as the favored um, outcome in this game. So if we take this market and put it into a zero vague odds calculator, what we can see is that their model is, imp is, is implying the over Nathan McKinnon to have two plus points is 44.75% to hit and the under is 55.25% to hit, right? So it's the exact same thing as this example we just went through, which is more obvious, where the sportsbook is giving you um, the same odds on both the over and the under. It's just in this example, the sportsbook has their market shaded, as it's called, right? It is juiced towards the under, so the under is more likely. And using a Novig fair odds calculator, you can see that Pinnacle Sportsbook under the odds jam column, this is real-time odds from Pinnacle Sportsbook, that they're implying Nathan McKinnon is 55.25% to have under one and a half points, right? So that's how you use an odds convert or a no vague fair odds calculator. Now, where this gets interesting is if you start to think about how sports books make money, right? So we just showed when DraftKings has the over and under at minus 115, they're implying both outcomes are equal are equally likely, right? Probabilities can only add up to 100%. So that means 50% for the over, 50% for the under. So if we go to an odds converter calculator, this is where it gets pretty interesting, right? DraftKings is giving you minus 115 odds on the over and the under, which means you would have to win, let's say you want to bet on the over, you have to win any bet at placed at minus 115 odds 53.48% of the time to break even long term. So for example, let's imagine, you know, you're betting only at minus 115 odds. Just for the sake of example, you would have to win your bets 53.48% of the time to break even. Okay? But we just showed that the fair line, because DraftKings is giving you the same odds on both the over and the under, 
Um, the fair price, according to DraftKings Sportsbook, is 50% for both the over and the under. But you have to be winning your wager 53.48% of the time to break even long term, right? So that is the vig. That is the juice. A sportsbook is giving you odds that are worse or you need to have a higher win rate than their model is implying. That is the vig and how sportsbooks bake the juice into their markets, right? So what we can see right here is we can go through a positive EV bet. Here we see a pretty big line discrepancy. We have an arbitrage bet between Caesar Sportsbook and Pinnacle Sportsbook under this odds jam column, right? This is the sharpest, most efficient betting market out there, which is why we use it on the positive EV, you know, sports betting tool. So right here, we can see Pinnacle's model, if we put in plus 108, minus 146 into a no vague fair odds calculator, Pinnacle's model is implying that um, Nathan McKinnon to have over one and a half points is 44.75% to hit, right? 44.75% to hit. So if we go back to an odds converter calculator in Caesar Sportsbook, they're giving us plus 150 odds, which means we only have to be winning this wager 40% of the time to break even. So you can go through the math. If you place, you know, let's say five bets, or if you place 10 bets to make the math easy, at plus 150 odds and you win four of them, then you will break even. You win four, you lose six, you'll break even, you can go through the math. So we only need to be winning a wager at plus 150 odds, 40% of the time to break even, but what Pinnacle Sportsbook, the sharpest bookmaker in the world, is implying with their market, plus 108, minus 146, is that this bet is going to be winning 44.75% of the time right? But we only have to win our bet 40% of the time, right? Which is why this bet is positive EV. This bet is mathematically profitable. So every sports betting odd, right, relates to probability. Plus 150 means you need to win 40% of the time to break even. If you're betting something at minus 400 odds, so betting 100 to win $25 in profit, you need to win four bets for every one you lose. You have to be winning 80% of the time. If you're betting at minus 200 odds, you have to win two out of three bets, 66.67% of them, right? If you're betting at plus 400 odds, you only need to win 20% of them to break even long term. So you always need to be thinking about sports betting odds in a probability lens. Um, any questions you have about this, you can comment on the video if anything wasn't clear. If follow-up videos are helpful, whatever, you can let us know below. And you can also book a call with us. There's a bunch of calendar links. If you want to speak to a sports betting expert who's made tens of thousands of dollars betting on sports, book a call with us. We're happy to run through the math and you know teach you how to become a more profitable sports better. So anyways, thanks so much for your time. Hopefully this video was a little helpful. Um, and yeah, let's make some money betting on sports.